field, and Ichiro is racing for third, and he's done it. He's climbed the mountain, a triple, and he has arrived at 3,000. Breaking ball, Yelich, center field deep. Back goes Dyson at the wall. season in the making what a moment and a career of extraordinary moments he's done it again line drive left field that's it number 1000 for jose altuve and he's gonna aim on the brakes and get back to first 1000 hits with number three tonight fastest astro ever to 1000 the long pause now the kick, here it comes. Swing and a miss! Swing and a miss! He struck him out with a slider! He... MLB Network has baseball coming your way from the home of the Mets, City Field. A Labor Day matchup in store for you here between the Philadelphia Phillies and the New York Mets. It's a battle of elite pitchers next on MLB Network. Steven Matz gets the call for game one of the series. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, you don't see a lot of guys that have five pitches, right? Sometimes it's hard to master even two or three, but if you can master five like he has, he'll be in pretty good shape. Here's the center fielder, Odubel Herrera. He had a homer in the ball game yesterday afternoon. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Now a swing and a ground ball, but a foul ball. 1 and 2 the count now. Our temperature not quite as hot as we'd expected. 85 degrees, the reading at first pitch. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Looking up is Nimmo. Gone to lead off the inning. So it's a solo home run here leading off the ball game. Home run number 15 for him thus far and the Phillies grab a one to nothing lead. First batter of the game and he hits a home run. Now this is not what those home fans were expecting. They're not even in the seats yet and you find yourself down one nothing. Into the box now, Cesar Hernandez. And there's a sinker that he just spits on as it misses low. These Mets, Harold, as they take the field here today, well, they've been playing some pretty good baseball, five and two over their last seven. I like how they played their game yesterday. They won yesterday's game. If they're able to play like that today, they'll win another one. Line shot to first, and there's one away. Batting third, third baseman number seven, Michael Digging Franco. in, Michael Franco. He was one for four with a two bagger in yesterday's game. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a walk. And that'll bring in Tommy Joseph. And what a season he's having. Entering play, leading the league in two of the three triple crown categories. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Looking at strike two, a fastball that catches the inside corner. And Dan, that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound. 
but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. Time now for a glance at the Phillies' batting order in this one. What's the key for them to win this series opener, Harold? Well, the key to me in this one, I'm going to throw a cliche at you, Matt. You know I don't use many cliches. I would have to say, have great energy. Play with some enthusiasm. Be excited about playing. And if they do that, man, they carry it through for nine innings. Look out. Here's Michael Saunders now. And he comes into this one having hit safely in his last five games. Two out with the man at first. Lined hard to the left side. But this will be a foul ball. Curveball just about rung him up, but it's to two and two. Well, that's what you want from your curveball on one and two. You start it in the zone and let it break out of the zone where it can't be punished. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. But the Phillies strike first on this solo home run. Home half of the first now from City Field. It's now 1-0 Philadelphia. Jared Eikhoff will be on the mound for the series opener. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, you don't see a lot of guys that have five pitches, right? Sometimes it's hard to master even two or three. But if you can master five like he has, he'll be in pretty good shape. Digging in the switch hitter, Jose Reyes. And there you see his righty-lefty splits and how they've played out so far this season. Full count, here it comes. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. With a moment here in Flushing Meadows, let's meet the Mets. Who stands out to you, Danny? Well, Matt, I can't wait to see if La Potencia, Yoana Cespedes, can keep it going. This guy knows how to drive in runs. Had over 25 runs batted in last month. You've got to pay attention to how he goes about it. Ground balls, fly balls, home runs, any way to drive in a run, and that's what he's doing. He tries to have a major impact on every game he plays in. Here it comes on one and one. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Harold, these Phillies as they begin play here today, they come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Yeah, Matt, they've been a little up and down on this road trip. A little inconsistent, but two and two is not bad. Better than being on four. They win this game today, though, and it really kind of turns the tide for them a bit. Looking for back-to-back -back K's to start the game. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And that'll get on through into center, and he's got himself a one-out hit. Oh, that's such a great feeling. The September call-up gets a base hit. Everybody's Johnny happy. Curry. The front office, Center's the manager, Gilder. and, of course, Michael the player. Conforto. Stepping in now, Michael Conforto. Yep. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. I don't know about his decision not to swing there. Hitters count. You get a fastball middle in. That's the one you drive out of the ballpark. Runner goes for second. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And pretty fortunate here as they do wind up getting the out at first, although the runner will advance to second. Stepping into the box, Joanna Cespedes. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. Two out here and a runner at second. Just inside, not by much. It's two and two. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. Now on three and two as a pitcher, you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. Liner towards second, but right there is the second baseman, and that will retire the side. Met strand one. It remains one nothing. At the plate, Andres Blanco. And check out the recent numbers. Clearly providing a lot of thump at the plate right now. Full count, here it comes. Sent on the ground out to second. Pro to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Well, let's take a look at the Mets defense brought to you by Majesty. And in the outfield, you'll have a Cespedes. This guy's got maybe the best arm in all of baseball. 
It seems like every time there's a big moment or a big play, he comes up gunning, and he's gunning guys at the plate. He is so fun to watch throw. Here's Howie Kendrick, and the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And this is going to be a foul ball. Phillies have an early 1-0 lead here in inning number two. Now a ball hit hard toward first. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. And this will be off the wall out near the 330 marker. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. As we look again at that double here, you can see that he was thinking, too, right out of the box. Smashed it down the line, and that was some great hustle to beat the throw to second to earn himself a double. In now, Cameron Rupp. That's on the corner to put him behind now. One and two. Well, that was a curveball looking right there. I tell you what, that was a nice curve. Just really froze it. Good breaking ball. Here's another one, two. Ball two. Yeah, and if you get a guy flailing at a pitch like that, heck, you're going to go out there and throw that same pitch until he proves he can lay off of it. A shot down the first baseline. Oh, and this deflects right off him. Stepping up to the plate, Jared Eikhoff. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Runners are at the corners with one man out. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. Swinging a soft liner, but this is hauled in by the second baseman. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Odubel Herrera, twos all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. Swing and a pop-up behind home plate, and that'll get out of play and into the VIP seats. The 2-2 two -two one more time. He got him! And exhale as he's out of the jam, and the inning is over. Phillies leave a couple, and after an inning and a half, it's one to nothing. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera, currently third on the team in stolen bases. So we'll see if he gets an opportunity to do any running in this one. Now here's the pitch. And this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. Set to deliver on two and one. Looks at a fastball inside, so he's in the driver's seat, three and one. Well, it's a pretty well-known fact that your batting average goes up as you get into more favorable hitters' counts, and that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter. Not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher. Probably better that he let that pitch go anyway. After seeing a lively fastball in the pitch before, it's pretty hard to sit back enough on a well-thrown changeup. No problem here, one away. Time for a look at the majestic defensive alignment for the Phillies. And I'm looking at the outfield of Dubal Herrera. When the Phillies were turning things around and turning that organization upside down, bringing up young talent, he was the first guy. Won batting titles in the minor leagues and really got off to a good start in the big leagues as well. Striding in, Rene Rivera. Day off for him yesterday, but back out there for this one. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Now a ball hit foul down the line in right and in amongst the fans. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Kendrick waits on it. He hauls it in without any trouble. And there are two away. Cutting seven. And that brings up the catcher, T.J. Rivera. And he's hoping to get things going at the plate. It's been a bit of a struggle for him in recent games. 
ready to deliver the full count pitch. And that misses ball four. And now the Mets have themselves a two out base runner. Well, that was a slider in a 3 2 count. And it just didn't tempt him enough to get a good swing. A good job of pitch recognition and knowing the strike zone to draw the free pass there. He's set. Here's the three and two. And he may be starting to lose the feel here as that misses for ball four. And that's back to back walks now with two away. So stepping in, Stephen Matz, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Leaves a change up high for a strike. Obviously, he wants to help himself out right here. With two strikes, that's going to be difficult to do. Let's see if he can put the ball in play. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Lifted in the air out to center field. Herrera's there. And that's the third out. A couple of walks, but no damage. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Some fans still trickling into the ballpark as we get you set for the top of inning number three. Striding in once again, Cesar Hernandez. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 1 2. And the sinking fastball called strike three. And that's out number one. So with one gone for him here in the inning, let's check out our current standings. And you can see they enter play with a two game lead in the division race. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Michael Franco. He drew a walk his first time up. Full count, here it comes. Smoked on the ground, left side. And a base hit into left field, so they've got themselves a one out base runner. First base for Ready for 19. another chance? Tommy, Tommy Joseph, 0 for 1 here in the early going. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Chop foul over towards the coaching box. Runner at first here, one man out. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. Another 2 2 offering. Oh, and a good curveball that time as it's taken for a called strike three, and there are two away. Pretty clear he didn't like the call there on the outside part of the plate, but probably too good to take, and he's down on strikes for the second time. Yeah, that pitch was right on the black. Beautiful pitch. And even if we had robot umps, he'd still be out. But the only difference would be he wouldn't be able to complain about it. Hit hard back up the middle, and that's through for a base hit. Make him one for two in this one. Well, that's the sixth game he's hit it, and he's swinging back pretty four. good now. That's a six-game streak. you got to start somewhere. Pay attention, people. He's getting hot. At the plate, Andres Blanco. Two on, two out for him here in the third. Swing and a liner. And that's through into center field. Base hit. Now a long throw home. And not in time as the run scores. Digging in for his second at bat, Howie Kendrick. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. Two down, runners at first and second. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Hoping to limit the damage, here's the pitch. Again, he sends it out of play. Another payoff pitch. Another one sent foul. The next 3 2. Chopped weakly to the left. And a super play to gun his man down as the side is retired. Phillies will have to be content with just the one. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. The Phillies lead it 2 to nothing. Coming to the plate now, Jose Reyes. He'll start things out against Jared Eikhoff as this inning gets underway. 
from the windup, the 1 1 pitch. A good knee high changeup taken for a strike. So far in this game, he's the only guy in the lineup that's gone down on strikes. Yeah, and he might strike oh. out for a second time right here. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Very weakly on the ground. That's a foul ball. Ready with another 2 2. Curveball that time, not even close. He still might be looking for that release point on that curveball early in this outing. That one looked like it popped out of his hand behind his ear instead of out front. We'll see if he finds that pitch because it'll be important for him. Franco will back up and put this one away just past the dugout for the first out. So one gone now as we give you a look at where these two teams find themselves entering play in the National League's Eastern Division race. Digging in to try it again. Brandon Nimmo. He singled his last time up. One out, nobody on. At the knees for a called strike, and it's back to even at two and two. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? I think one of the keys, Matt, you want to try to initiate contact. The one thing you don't want to do, you don't want to run the count to three balls and two strikes. Whatever you want to throw, throw it over for a strike. Into the box now, Michael Conforto. He's over one after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. He's set. Here comes the one-one, and now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. He's set, and the two-one pitch, a changeup that just catches the bottom of the zone for a strike. Ground ball right side. That's through for a base hit, and he's one for two now. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Got the ground ball he was looking for right there. Hard grounder, but it just wasn't at somebody. If it's at somebody, it's a double play ball. Now he's got to get back to work and maybe get another one. Into the box, Joanna Cespedes. Hard liner towards short. That's in there. Base hit. Nimmo rounds third and is digging for the plate. In to score, the runner from second. And he'll pull in there with a one-out double. With that hard double, you get a glimpse to see why this guy is a legitimate MVP candidate this season. Whenever he gets a chance to produce, he seems like he takes advantage of it. Great example there. Standing in now as Dribble Cabrera. A little late on this one as it's lifted the other way down the left field line. The catch is made near the line in left, tagging the runner from third. And they've come back to tie it up as it's now a 2-2 ball game. Hey, always productive to score runs when you can. And that sacrifice fly right there drives home the second run of the inning. Hit in the air to center field. Herrera's there. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Three innings complete, and we are tied 2-2. Digging in, Cameron Rupp. He'll lead it off against Steven Matz. And it looks now like a right hander has begun to get loose in the Mets bullpen. Too close for comfort and he did a good job just to make contact. Once again a three two. High and deep to left. This one's got plenty of distance. Gone to lead off the inning. A solo shot here to left, number 14 on the season, as the Phillies move out in front three to two.
Well, he got a curveball, and that's the one pitch. If you catch it right, it is tailored to go out of the ballpark. It gets that little loop to you. You take the swing up on it like he did right here, and that ball travels out of the park. Stepping in now, Jared Eikhoff. Swing and a miss on the sinker, and it's one and two. Three runs, seven hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. There's a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first down. Well, I'm glad we get another look at that beauty of the pitch right there. You can't spot a sinker in a better location because even if you do get the bat on the ball, there's not a whole lot you can do with that. Textbook sinker. 1-1 one, one pitch is a curveball just off the black. 2-1 and one now. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. But this will wind up a foul ball. 2-2. Two and two. And he'll stay alive here, but just barely as this ball's chopped foul at the plate. And the count holds at 2-2. Two and two. Into the windup, here comes the 2-2 pitch. This is hit the other way out toward left field. After it is Cespedes. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Now batting, second baseman. Digging in once Cesar again, Cesar Hernandez. Hernandez. 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. Ready on 1 and 2. Swing and a ball line hard towards short. But there to take it is Cabrera, and with that, the side is retired. Phillies get one in the frame courtesy of this solo home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up, and Philadelphia's taken a 3-2 lead. Leading off the inning, T.J. Rivera, and they'll need him to get something going here. Fastball is looked at for strike two. Here's the pitch on two and two. Shin high fastball that time, ball three. Matt Reynolds waits on deck. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Good wood on it there, but foul, so they'll do it again. Well, he fouled that breaking ball off a little bit early. Timing not quite there. Had a fastball to pitch before. He just got out in front of that breaking ball. This is in the air to right. Saunders is under it. Makes the play one away. Now batting. And here to hit now is Matt Reynolds. Matt. Reached base Reynolds. via the walk in his first plate appearance. The two and one on its way. Line drive to center field. But sadly for him, this will head straight to the center fielder as he puts it away without much trouble for the second out. Steven Matt. Standing in, Steven Matz. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Oh, and he took something off of it there. It's one and two. We're in the fourth. Three to two is our score. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and that is out number three. Mets go down one, two, three. They're down three to two. Back alongside Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskirshen, as Michael Franco gets set to start out the inning. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. Now time is called, and this might be to buy a little time for that reliever to get loose. A one-and-one one count. Here's the pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. The one-and-two pitch. And another foul ball. Again, a one-two. Hit back up the middle. Cabrera's there. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. First baseman, number 19. And Tommy. that'll bring in Tommy Joseph. He's hoping to avoid the hat trick. He struck out in each of his first two plate appearances so far. 
squared that one up just a little late. Another full count pitch home. Swing and oh my. Hit him with the high and gone right down the line the other way. Wow. A solo shot down the line in right. Number 35 now on the season. And it's given the Phillies a 4 to 2 lead. Yeah, he was having zero luck early in the game, striking out twice in two at bats. But it only takes one swing to get back in a groove. That was definitely it. Into the box now, Michael Saunders. He swings and sends it in the air to right center field. Coming in is Nimmo. And that's the second out of the inning. The batter, shortstop. Settling Andres in now, Blanco. Andres Blanco. One for two on his line so far in the game. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Here's the one and two delivery. Look out. Oh. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. And the pitch. Popped foul and it looks like that's going to make it into the VIP seats. Four runs, eight hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Ball three. Three and two now. And here in just the fifth inning, this will be pitch number 100 here. Well, that tells me. Oh, hang on now. This ball is smoked to right. And I don't think this one's coming back. No chance. It's gone. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Number 11 for him on the season. And just like that, it's now a 5-2 ball game. Well, that's the second home run of the inning, and their lead grows bigger. It's like a runaway train on a downhill slope right now. And the other guys are trying to throw twigs in the spokes to stop it. Rafael Montero is going to take now over here in inning number five, number so it'll 50. be a bullpen game from Rafael here on out. Montero. In now, Howie Kendrick. And he'll quickly send a line drive to center field. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. So with that, the top of the fifth is still alive. Ready for another shot now. Cameron Rupp. He's off to a fast start in this one. Two for two, including a home run. Line drive snagged on a short hop. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. So two runs come across here, both coming via the solo home run. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Phillies five and the Mets two. Ready once again, Jose Reyes. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. Here's the one and one pitch. And that one stayed too low apparently. On its way is pitch number 75. Takes a knee-high fastball. He's really throwing the ball well in this game. And the thing to me that stands out is that two-seamer. He's got great movement, and he's keeping hitters off balance with it. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three games so far. Digging in and looking for more, Brandon Nimmo. Two base hits, both singles to this point. Throw over to the bag, and he'll be back in standing up. Reyes the runner at first with nobody out. And this is low, ball two, two and one. The two and one on its way. 
Just a bit low, ball three. Well, now he's falling behind 3-1, and all the pitches have been down. He's trying to get that double play ball, but the strategy has to change now, and now he's got to throw a strike. Fastball is taken for a strike, and he runs it full three and two. Well, he took a pitch right there, a fastball middle end. Most of the time, you're looking to swing at, but with the guy on first that can run pretty good, maybe he's trying to let him pick a pitch to run on. And he won't have to contend with a throw as that misses for ball four. First and second now to start the inning. Michael Take something off, but it's one and two now. It's a big spot right here. Two runners on, and you knew he was going to waste a pitch right there, 0 2. But right now, you can still make him chase out of the zone, and you got a chance to get out of this jam. As a look, now the pitch. But a fastball that just misses inside. A number three hole hitter up right now. Cleanup guy on deck. Two ball, two strike count. I think pitcher wants to make something happen right here. Foul toward the third base dugout, but this will get back into the seats out of play. He's clearly looking to hit off the fastball and adjust. That's a pretty good swing after seeing two fastballs now in a row. Okay. This one sinks low on a touch outside. It's a full count, three and two. Waiting his turn on deck, Yoannis Cespedes. Good lead off a second there, now the pitch. And he lays off there, ball four. So back-to-back -back walks have him in business here with nobody out. Here's the left fielder, Yoannis Cespedes. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. He's set, here comes the 1-1. One -one. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this! It's a grand slam. So he promptly unloads the bases with that one. Number 33 on the year. And this one gives him the lead at 6 to 5. saying stuck between a rock and a hard place well that was the case here bases loaded facing the best power hitter in the lineup and he showed why he is so feared he knocked it out of here with a vengeance here comes the Philly skipper on his way out toward the mound and it changes in the offing as that'll be all for his starter this afternoon so he'll leave after working just four innings, and this was not Your the kind of start he was looking for, I'm quite sure. Michael Marriott is going to take 31. over here in inning number Michael five, so it'll be Marriott. a bullpen game from here on out. <laughs> Standing in now as Drubal Cabrera takes a high fastball for a strike. Frozen with a high fastball there. We'll see if they try to climb the ladder even more on the next pitch. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Pereira going back on it to the track. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Now batting. Catcher. Digging in. Rene Rivera. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Four runs here in this half inning. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Chasing after it is Herrera. He's got it, and there are two down now. Now batting. Third into the box. T.J. Rivera comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Full count. Here it comes. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. But the damage has been done for the Mets, and it came on this grand slam. Five innings complete. It's now six to five. Chris Coughlin will grab a bat and lead things off here in the top of the sixth. Number six, Chris Coughlin. Now a swing and a fly ball. 
but this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Ready on one and two. A little bouncer, but it gets foul. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. Stepping in now, Odubel Herrera. As he sends it on the ground to first. To his left, Reynolds. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now batting. Ready for another chance? Cesar, Cesar Hernandez. Hernandez. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Grounded up the first baseline. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. This one remains close. It's six to five. Joaquin Benoit enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 53. Joaquin Benoit. Digging in to try it again. Matt Reynolds. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And that one misses. So the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the six. The pitcher number 50. Gavin Cicchini will come on to pinch it now with a runner at first and nobody out. Gavin Cicchini. Now some action in the Phillies bullpen as a right-hander begins to crank it up out there. And oh. here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. Boy not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches attack the strike zone early a lot of deep counts and working himself into a lot of trouble. And that's in there above the belt so it's even now two and two. We're seeing quite a few pitches up from him right now and that can obviously be dangerous. A cold strike there but he might need to lower his sights a little bit. Now a ah, fastball up around the shoulders but it's strike three called and a questionable first out of the inning. Well that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor but it wasn't outrageous. Hey listen calling calls and strikes is a really tough job and even the best are going to miss some from time to time especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that though. Into the box Jose Reyes and that's on the outside corner one and two. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. Ruff has room. Two down. Digging in once again. Right Brandon fielder, Nimmo. A couple of singles to Brandon his credit thus far. Nimmo. Benoit sets on his way with the Zero. three and two. And a half-hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike, and the inning is over. Mets leave one. They lead it, however, it's six to five. Welcome back to City Field in Flushing. Getting set for the seventh inning now with the Mets out on top. But first, let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of baseball. Seth Lugo is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Ready for another shot now. Michael Franco. He enters this at bat one for two with a walk. Line drive to left. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. 
So that puts the leadoff man aboard to get the inning underway. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Well, he was definitely struggling coming into this one, but I think we can say that cold streak is officially over. That's his second hit of the game, and it goes for extra bases. We'll see now if this game proves to be a huge turning point for him. And there's the fourth wide one. So now the double play perhaps in order with nobody out. The right fielder number five. Here's Michael Saunders Michael now. Saunders. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Possible tying and go ahead runs on base. Nobody out. Inside as he might be trying to set him up here one and two. Goes the other way with it as this is in the air down the line in left. And that's a fair ball. The relay. And they get the force over there for the first out. And I'm not sure what that guy's doing out there as he gets forced out in third by an outfielder. Man alive. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Andres Blanco. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. Hard hit at third. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. And the tying run comes around to score from second. It's a 6-6 six to six ball game. I love the late inning at bats when you come now up clutch right there. Big hit, Left tie this game. Howie Kendrick. And there's ball four now, so the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk, and the force at the plate is in order. Well, tough to say if that was their intention or not, but it's not the worst thing that could happen. A force at every base now, so there are a lot of ways to get out of this. Here's the one and one pitch. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. He'll come to the plate with it. They get the force at the plate, but one's all they were ever going to get, and the inning will continue. So a good decision there to come homeward with it as this remains for the time being a tie ball game. Brian Holiday will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Brian Holiday. Bases are loaded here, two down. And here's a ball hit in the air. Reyes is there to make the catch and they'll escape the bases loaded jam by giving up just it's one run. For one for the Phillies here on the RBI double. Get up and stretch. And we're all even now at six and six. Your attention, please. Now New pitcher set to take over now, and it's the hard working left hander Sean Burnett. Sean Burnett. Riding in once again, Michael Conforto. He singled earlier, making him one for two to this point. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. He's set, and the 2-1 pitch. And the slider is low and inside as he just about got him there. Right side, Hernandez takes it in. On to first, and that is a big out to lead off the home seven. The left fielder number 52. Here's the left fielder, Ioannis Cespedes. He's two for three with a home run and a double. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Slider can't find the zone here, and he's behind now. Three and one. Bases are empty. One man out. Three and two. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better, and you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. Hit weakly back to the mound. Throw on to first. Two gone. Number Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. Drubal. 0 for 2 with a sacrifice thus far. The 
So 1 1 home to Cabrera. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2 1. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Bases are empty here with two men out. Softly hit out to short. And the throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. Down in order go the Mets. This game remains tied at six. Stepping into the box, Odubel Herrera. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. Ooh, and heads up as this is pulled foul. Two and two count. Here it comes. Slice down the left side, but foul. Smoked on the ground up the middle. That gets through, and he'll start the inning off with a base hit. So their half of the eighth opens with a man aboard. Digging in now, Cesar Hernandez. Leadoff man on base, and we'll see what they have in mind strategy-wise here. Runners on the move for second. Slap hard the opposite way, and that'll get down for a base hit. Well, Matt, clearly that was a hit and run. The runner was off on the swing, and he drives the ball so hard to the outfield, they couldn't advance it. Michael Franco. Roman Quinn will be summoned now to be the pinch runner. Number 24, Roman Quinn. In now, Michael Franco. Way out in front as this is yanked foul into the seats in left. Oh, he got out in front of the change. He was looking for a fastball right there because he got the bat head so far out he was able to pull it. If that was a fastball, he might have kept it fair. But this is right at him in right field as he hardly has to move to take it in for the first out. First base from number nine. And that'll bring in Tommy Joseph. He's working on a one for three thus far. And here's ball four on the intentional pass as that'll now load the bases here and set up the force at the plate. Right fielder. Michael Striding Saunders. into the box, Michael Saunders. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Bases are loaded here, one man out. Into right center field, and this ball's going to get down a base hit. One run is scored. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. It's now an eight to six game. Man, to come up late in the game and get two runs driven in to put you ahead in a game that was tied, that is beautiful. Now it's up to the pitcher. Standing in now, Andres Blanco. And a waste pitch there, one and two. 0 2 pitch, not even close to the zone, and a fastball might be an indication that he's going to start using some of his secondary pitches. Nimmo is over to his right as he puts this one away, two down. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. Here's Howie Kendrick, and we'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home so far this inning. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. Hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. Conforto is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. It's the Phillies eight. And the Mets Your six. Roman Quinn will stay in the Phillies. ball game now as he comes on now to play second, second here. Base. Now we're going to have Number a conference 24. at the home plate area, Roman so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Pat Nisha is Number in out 13. of the bullpen now as Freddy he'll be inserted Galvin. into the number six spot following the double switch. Freddie Galvis will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch.
Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. He's ready with the 2 2 pitch. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Getting late in the day here, and as this has been a long one, we check out our line score to this point. The scoreboard operator is going to sleep well tonight because, as you can see, he's been a pretty busy man through the first seven and change. And that brings up the catcher, T.J. Rivera. 0 for 2 with a walk for him so far. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Lays off the slider that time. Two and one. You know, something to keep in mind, they're really burning through that bullpen. And this is only the first game of the series. Definitely could have an impact on the rest of the series and maybe even the whole week ahead. Slow roller back to the mound. Throw gets him. Two down. Now batting. And here to hit now is Matt Reynolds. Matt couple of walks Reynolds. for him thus far. Two out, nobody on. Whoa. Lays off. Two and two now. Now that's a slider that's pretty easy to recognize. Started on the outside. You know it's going to continue to run off the plate. But one that's... A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Mets go down one, two, three. Can't cut into that eight to six deficit. Striding in, Cameron Rupp. He went deep earlier, and he's two for four to this point. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Swing, and that's hit out of play up into the plaza level. Here's the one and two delivery. Takes this the other way to right. Nimmo is there to put it away for route number one. The batter number 13. Digging in the switch hitter. Freddy Galvis. Galvis and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for right there at the belt one and two now here's the one and two delivery swing and a liner foul the one and two pitch late swing and a ball line fouled into the seats past the third base dugout Ready on one and two. Hard hit ball to second. And that's into the outfield for a one out hit. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he's in there easily at second with a one out double. Everyone knows that this guy's numbers are not where not he bad. wants them to be that's so far good. this year. But you never know about that swing. He looks fluid and confident driving that pitch for a double. We'll see if that gets him going a bit. Odubel Herrera will stand in again as they're back at the top of the order and will go back here as well. This is when he let off the ball game as he really gets him off to a fast start with a solo home run. Hit out towards second. Right there is Reyes. Throw gets him. Two down. Digging in. Roman Quinn. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. Men on third with two down. Gets him to swing and miss there. Three and two. Sure took a healthy hack that time. Yeah, and I don't understand that approach at all, Matty. He's not really known for having a whole lot of pop in his back. Now, meanwhile, this ball's going to get through, and that's a base hit. And they'll extend their lead even further as the runs in to score from third. That makes it a 9-6 ball game. Michael Franco. Stepping in now, Michael Franco pitches a bold strike, the throw. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. And he struck him out, so a good pitch there, and now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at-bat if they want to get back in this thing. Phillies will have to be content with just the one. Nine, one, and two scheduled to lead off the bottom of the ninth. It's the Phillies nine and the Mets six. Jen Mark Gomez please. takes the now ball now in inning number Phillies. nine, looking to number close 46. the door. Jen Mark Gomez.
Wilmer Flores. Flores will get up Number off the four. bench to lead off the home Wilmer. half of the ninth. Flores. And they've certainly got their work cut out for them here, so he'll just need to work on getting aboard. And a great location that time on the corner. Three and two now. Good pitch right there from the reliever. Tough for hitters to do much with pitches in that location unless they're looking for it. On the ground up the middle. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Up next for Ready the once again, Jose Second Reyes. Front. He comes into this Jose. appearance in the midst of a Jose. one for four day. Slider up that he gets a call on. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. One two is an off speed pitch. No dice. It's two and two. One out. Nobody on. Swing and a little tapper that goes foul. So he stays alive with two strikes. Well that was a pretty good swing right there. Tough change up back to back change up. So he fouls it off. Now you get the pitch you want because I can't see him throwing another change up right here. Grounded softly to the right. And he's safe. And it looks like we're going to see time called here as he looked to come up a bit gingerly after he hit the first base bag. But from all indications, it looks like it won't be enough to take him out of the ballgame. And here's the former first round draft choice, Brandon Nimmo. Career numbers against Genmar Gomez, one for three. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. A high fastball is in there. Don't know for sure, but I think he may have been taking there thinking his teammate on first was going to be on the move. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Grounded to third. This could be two. Franco has it. One there on to first, and he rolls a double play ball to end it here as this ball game is over. Hey, there was no reason to panic. He gave up a hit, but he comes right back and gets a double play to end this thing. Great resiliency right there to secure the save and the victory for the team. Nine to six, the final tally in this one. The Philadelphia Phillies get the win on the heels of four home runs. Sean Burnett gets the win in relief, his second of the year. Genmar Gomez earns the save out of the bullpen, his 15th of the campaign. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and the rest of our crew. This is Matt Vaskersian, and you've been watching a presentation of MLB Network. See you next time. Our final line score this afternoon, first for the victorious Philadelphia Phillies. Nine runs on 17 hits. No errors. High fly ball, well tagged this time, and Junior going back to the track. The wall makes the leap and makes the catch. Amazing catch by Junior as he takes a home run away from Luis Gonzalez. My, oh my. Perfect timing, and Junior receiving a standing ovation here. Here's the 0-2.